Engineer 775 on a site we've been on. You might have seen this video. Two 12Ks installed, and we had two Evolt Maxes. Um, the customer wasn't here when we did the install. He really wanted his batteries tucked up underneath, and it kind of bothered him that these batteries were out here in the open. So <laughs> we uh, really no issues with the Fortress. Been in here probably four years. Not really worked too hard. It's an, not an off-grid. It's a hybrid system, and it's a seasonal use place. So anyway, the batteries are in great shape. They're just not the fit for what the customer wanted here. We're, so we're doing a little upgrade. So instead of, you've, you've got it flipped around backwards. So one of the fun things about these Fortress batteries, they weigh 460 pounds. Um, and we got them down the stairs with a tractor and a rigging. And then I was like, you know what? We can't be working this dumb all the time. So I did some research and found a local rental company that had these PowerMate M1. This, this thing will hold 1,500 pounds, and it's a stair climbing hand truck. So we've never used one before. We're trying to figure out how it works. <laughs> so we'll film the process. So this is going to save our back today, we hope. That is the plan. So we're going to get these on my truck, return them. I got another customer that wants them. I hope he said he did. We'll see if he still does. And then uh, what we're putting in place, what I'm sitting on, are these stack series. We're going to give them 16 of the Rubik's stack series. These have done really well. And they will be, hopefully, get connected here in a couple hours. We've got 16 of them going in for about an 80, 82 kilowatt hour, sorry, battery bank. He had, these were 18.5, so he had, this is going to, more than double his capacity, which is what he needed to net zero this property. So we give two solutions, hopefully helping two customers and doing the battery shuffle. The only thing I was dreading was getting these out of the basement. But with this guy, it's a little 12 volt motor battery charging and uh, stop filming and see if it works. 12 seconds later. A few inches later. Got all 16 of the new Rubik stacked batteries on their lids and bases. We are going to tighten up their spacing and move it closer to the, I think we have room, we do, to move them to the left and try to line them up with this gutter and have one extended out here. Anyway, we've more than doubled the battery capacity at this location with this move and the customer again wanted to tuck the batteries up under the system, so we did it. Um, we're wiring them up now. They got nice jumpers, nice bus bars for the grounds, which is nice and neat. And um, there's some improvements of this battery over the Rubik's, the blue ones we've done. And we really like the covers mostly. <laughs> we have access through these magnetic um, cover plates. So that is awesome. And so uh, we're just gonna wire it up. We've got two bus bars waiting on us. The two 12Ks have worked well. They've been in for four years, I think now. And uh, they're only half full on solar, so we did let the customer know there is a potential. I, it's, uh, we can double the solar, basically. And we've already put in two-inch conduit to pull that in. So this is a nice little upgrade. And I like the smaller battery format, the five kilowatt hour. I know there's a trend with all these 300 pound wall mount and people aren't realizing that to get that battery 
uh, if there's ever a problem with one of those floor wall mount batteries, you have got to remove the inverter to get access. You got to remove the inverter. I don't want to have to remove an inverter to remove a battery or work on a battery. So think about that before you buy these batteries that have a wireway on top and then the inverters mounted to the wireway. How do you get that battery out? Um, especially if it's got a bracket on the back and you got to lift the battery up to get it off of the bracket. So a lot of people don't think ahead with that. So I don't like the weight and I don't like the fact that I might have to remove the inverter, which is nonsense. So stick with these 100 pound, 110 pound batteries in all different formats. Uh, this is just one option. This is a great option. I love the option with casters. Um, being able to assemble your battery like Wes is assembling his battery now. He's not having, we're not having to scrape it across this floor when he's done. We just roll it into place. They actually have leveling casters. Some basements have a real steep tilt towards the drain and you want to level that battery up, you can with these. The breakers on these are great. They're outside of the wire way within the battery. So we don't have to fight with that. We're not modifying covers. So Shout out to Rubix for making a big improvement on the stack series. All right, time to get this thing connected and tested. We are gonna do open loop on this, this master inverter, and then we'll do the comms. So Elijah, get to comms. Nice little update here with uh, 16 of the Rubix stacked. And uh, we're just wrapping it up, swapped out, got the fortress out of here. Batteries are connected, turned on to two 12Ks. Huh. So uh, anyway, it's a wrap. We're going to get out of here, clean up, make sure everything's working. All the new settings are in. If we can help you with any type of solar project, let me know. Engineer 775 signing out. All right. If you need any help installing, designing, need some components, let me know. This is Engineer 775.